In Oregon, there's no licensing. There's no registration. That's the kind of thing that we would like to see. So, but actually, that's actually not what we're going to be working on this year. Um, this is not the poll. They wouldn't let me have that data yet. So, okay. But one thing. So, we don't in, in Oregon. There's no licensing unless you've got a concealed handgun license. But you don't need a license to get a gun. There's no registration. There's no background checks for private sales. If you buy a weapon from a federally licensed firearms dealer, or if you buy a weapon at a gun show, then you have to undergo a background check. And a gun show is def defined as any time 25 or more weapons are for sale. Okay, so 40% of them, and that's, I guess, uh, you know, because we actually don't keep, we're not allowed basically to keep track, keep our keep records or things like that, but that's just kind of our best guesstimate. So, no safe storage laws, which means you can keep your gun anywhere, loaded, unloaded, there's no safe storage laws. No waiting time between purchase and possession. Why would we need that? Why would we need waiting time between purchase and possession? It's a cooling. It, Sometimes people buy guns when they're mad. Yeah. Or depressed. Yeah, it's a cooling off period. Yeah, Hawaii actually has um, a waiting period. And with the number of suicides that we have, it would, it would actually probably be something. No requirements for safety devices, like an MDM. MDM is a, is a magazine disconnect mechanism. I bet there are people here who know an MDM, right? MDM, so you've got your, you've got your weapon, okay? This is the handle of the weapon, okay? With a magazine disconnect mechanism, you just push a little button, okay? And if you've got a magazine, here, it'll drop out, and if there's a bullet in the chamber, it won't let the bullet fire. So that's a magazine disconnect mechanism. But there's no requirement to have them on any weapons. You can buy them, but there's no requirement. Um, LCI is also, um, it's a loaded chamber indicator. Sometimes you also see there's a chamber loaded indicator. CLI, LCI, I see in both ways. And all that is, is a little, usually it's like a little red stick that sticks up and says, there's a gun in the chamber, or there's a bullet in the chamber, I mean, so you, you can see. You should always, of course, treat weapons as if they're loaded. But you know what, when you're cleaning your weapon or things like that, it's really nice to be able to have some pretty good indicator that it's empty, okay? Because famous last words, oh, don't worry, it's not loaded. Famous last words. Anybody remember the band Chicago? Yeah, one of the, actually, one of the Chicago members killed himself that way. He's like, oh, don't worry, it's not loaded, so. No gun locks. So there are no requirements for safety, no smart gun law requirements. Smart gun laws, basically, there are all sorts of things you can do, like palm print. Kodiak guns has a palm print technology that they're going to use, or they do use, excuse me. And I think that can be up for seven people. It's either seven or ten people. I can't remember now which. Um, but uh, personally, if I were going to recommend a gun, I would actually go with some type of smart gun law, or smart gun. Uh, smart gun. There are several different kinds out there. So, oh, I did have background checks. Okay, I've got that twice. Um, open carry is permitted without any training. So you see people carrying openly, um, and they don't even have to pass a background check to buy their gun. They can buy it from a private sale, they don't even have to pass a background check. So that's why people get a little concerned when they see people carrying openly, because like, okay, who is, who is this person? Why is this woman carrying a gun? Open carry. There's another situation for open carry though too. If you have a concealed handgun license, you can openly carry a weapon, even into the state capitol, into a public school, K through 12. So, yeah, which is kind of makes the teachers a little uncomfortable, as you could well imagine, especially after Sandy. Um, and yeah, and, and so there's open carrying into the capitol. Um, so there's also concealed carry public schools. I already covered that. And then also another thing too is that there's no hands-on training for people who have a CHL, it's concealed handgun license. Um, and that's one thing we'd really like to see change because people used to always, always say, if you got a concealed handgun license, you're the best of the best. Well, best of the best means you've done a background check, you've taken a written test, okay? you paid a fee. You don't have to touch a gun. You don't have to show, show that you can shoot the broadside of a arm. If you're gonna be called the best of the best, if you're gonna be a concealed handgun license holder and carry concealed and carry, and I've seen them right in front of me, AR-15s into the state capitol, you need training. I think it's just a reasonable thing. You need to be trained. How about some live fire training so you can actually, so that you can shoot some situation training. So that's the kind of thing that we would like to see. So, but actually that's actually not what we're gonna be working on this year, but that just gives you an idea of 
of what we're talking about. And then I think there are there are almost 200,000 people in the state of Oregon who have concealed mm -hmm. handgun licenses. So that's a lot of people. 